couple things to remember, apply early. If you do, I mean, if you apply early, your benefits are lower, they will stay lower for life. Uh, the cost of living raises actually improve the uh, desirability to hold off. Um, the survive, my big thing is I want the higher earner to wait until age 70, partly as longevity insurance for themselves, but also partly for longevity insurance for both spouses, which I think is the most important thing. Um, we went through some of the details on apply and suspend, but I think the biggest takeaway is for the people who, um, who are 66, it is better to apply and suspend before April 30th rather than letting that deadline go, all right? Um, and in many cases it will be obvious, in some cases it will not. Um, Karen was already talking about some of the issues that you have to take into consideration, etc. Okay, now, a couple final points before we call it a day. And this is something that I, it's, it's now even more complicated, but my thing for a long time was holding off on Social Security, doing the apply and suspend, and taking advantage of the period between retirement and age 70 to create a low income set of years. So let's say that you retire, let's say at age 66, all right? And let's say that you do the apply and suspend technique so that you're either getting no or you're getting just one half of one social security benefit. Mm -hmm. You will be in the lowest income bracket that you'll ever be in for the rest of your life. Because then when you're 70, depending on how old your spouse is, let's say that he or she is your age, you'll have two social securities, both of which will be much higher if you use those techniques, and you'll have two minimum required distributions of your IRA. So now, all of a sudden, here's what your income's gonna look like. You're working, you're working, you're working, you're in a high income. Now you're not working, you're only collecting half of a social security, not two, and not even a full one. Now you're at a low income. Then at 70, you're gonna have two minimum required distributions, two social securities. Your income's gonna be way up, and it's never gonna go down for the rest of both of your lives. So what does that tell you when you have an income of, or a window of a low income Roth IRA conversions? And doing a series of Roth IRA conversions between retirement and age 70 is one of the reasons why that first slide had the difference between doing it right and doing it wrong of up to $2 million, and the Roth IRA conversions were an important part of it. And again, at the risk of repeating myself, we believe it is a synergistic calculation doing the Roth and the Social Security strategies right, all right? And that it's not two independent actions, but it, there's actually a synergy there. And then, of course, you know, what we do in our office and what we think should be done is to look at this whole thing, look at everything. Is there a pension? Are there options on the pension? Is it one life or two life? What about the IRAs and the 401ks and the Roth conversions and the minimum required distributions? Then we didn't even talk at all, except earlier today, about the investment portfolios and low cost indexing and what we call the bucket analysis. Um, there's just a lot. So what did we cover? We, hopefully what I did is spent a fair amount of time on it, but I hopefully it has been worth it, talking about the basics for Social Security. Um, we talked about the techniques, apply and suspend, claim now, claim more later, or in other words, a restricted application for Social Security. We talked about the new law, the transition period, the people who could potentially win, and the people who cannot, and uh, very briefly on the synergy between Social Security and Roth. All right, so where do you go from here 
If you're interested in social security analysis, Karen is available. Flat fee, $1,000. If it's real easy, and this was her idea, not mine, um, <laughs> if it's real easy, she would not charge the full fee. You know, it might be she could just figure it out pretty quickly. If you're interested in really the whole picture, all right, and oh, and if you're interested in just a will, all right, and this only applies to Pennsylvania residents, um, and frankly, we only do it in person. I know this is video. We don't want to do wills across the state unless you come into our office. We want to look in your eyes and make sure that this is done right. Um, I'm not the guy to see. It would be, it would be Matt Schwartz, all right? Um, and, and actually, it might be if you're using Karen for Social Security, you would probably see her for wills also, under the theory that the less attorneys, the better. Um, if you are interested in the whole picture, the Roth IRA conversions, the Social Security, the estate planning, the investments, the what we call the stack analysis, using low-cost index funds that we talked about earlier, and you are interested in, let's say, the strategies that we had talked about. Now, our office, just to sum up, our office actually, if you're interested in, let's call it the whole thing, we do the strategies. Frankly, Karen does the Social Security analysis. Somebody else does the Roth analysis, although they're literally talking to each other um, every day. Um, we also do the how much you could spend, the estate planning, educating grandchildren, um, all the what I would call strategy issues that we love that I've written five books about. We do that part. The money manager, using what we believe is the best set of index funds on the planet, which is Dimensional Fund Advisor Funds, he actually does the actual money management. So when he does the whole thing, I'm not going to go into performance, but I'll just say it's wonderful. He does the whole thing in terms of what he calls the stack analysis, multiple asset allocation. Um, you have a, cons a very conservative bucket and a less conservative bucket, and then more aggressive, et cetera, et cetera. He does a personal balance sheet, a personal income statement. His name's PJ Denuso of Denuso Index Investors. He is the best money manager that I know. The arrangement that he, that he and I have is if you come to see me first and you are a good candidate for the combination of our services with him managing the money and our office is doing the strategy, and by the way, there's at least two meetings with me and probably one or two meetings with him before you're comfortable enough to say yes, and frankly, we're comfortable enough to say yes to you. Um, then if you become a client, then we crunch all those numbers, we do all that work, we do the Roth, et cetera, we do annual reviews, he does the money management, the fee is 1% or less. We have a $500,000 minimum. If, you, if we manage $500,000, the fee would be $5,000. The more you invest, the lower the percentage is, but it's a really a win-win-win because our office gets to do the strategies that we love and I believe that we are very good at. His office actually does the investments, which I think, I think that he is just terrific, and I really mean that. He's the best financial advisor I know. And you, the consumer, get both of us for, in effect, one fair, and actually more than fair fee. If you had never met me and you just went to him, it would be the identical fee. But by going to me first, you're, in effect, getting our office and our strategies for free. If you are interested in that arrangement, um, and we only do that in person. So for you folks out of town, if you want to come to Pittsburgh and meet us, that's great, but we're not going to do this over the phone. Um, I actually believe this is a person-to-person -person business.